An iconographic and religious subject of paintings that we see quite frequently is that of footprints and handprints. Now, this is really for, for uh, paintings um, in the Himalayan regions. We, we really don't have uh, a lot of examples from uh, India. Uh, we have some from China. So to look at this, we need to uh, have just an overview of what we're talking about. And then we have to look at the individual topics of, uh, of the subjects of the handprints and footprints, which are deities or teachers. Uh, and then where do the footprints or handprints or both footprints and handprints, where do they appear? Also of some importance is chronology and region and then also the medium because aside from painting there can also be sculpture which is stone sculpture and there can also be rubbings on cloth or paper of those stone uh, sculpture footprints so really where does this come from it's it's coming out of india and it is depicting the sacred, the holy uh, soles of the feet of uh, important figures. But there's very few of these important figures. We're really only dealing with uh, Shakyamuni Buddha, Vishnu, and Shiva as uh, deities or idealized uh, figures. And on the on the soles of the feet are our sacred um, emblems, such as the eight auspicious symbols, uh, swastika, um, possibly uh, uh, double uh, vajra, different different types of, of symbols uh, coming out of India, and uh, and uh, just images that are thought to be auspicious. Now, for teachers, we have really no teachers, uh, representations of footprints of teachers in, in India. We really get this in, in Tibet. And it was really, as far as my knowledge goes, it only uh, begins really with Gampopa, um, the, the student of, of uh, Milarepa. And Gampopa learned this, this uh, this idea that if uh, one's um, tantric guru passes away, uh, but prior to them passing away, if you get them to, to put their feet onto some cloth and you do uh, a tracing of that, and then you hold this cloth dear to you, then this can be used in some ritual practice for uh, de devotion towards the teacher, and it's possible to get some blessing or some uh, special um, um, uh, teaching, maybe through dream or something similar. Uh, now, the the actual earliest written uh, text that I know of is, uh, is I believe, by Pakmodrupa Dorji Gyalpo, who's a student of uh, Gampopa. And uh, because of this, we find most of the early footprints on cloth in the Himalayan regions in Tibet, we find that they're Drikung and Taklung teachers coming down from uh, uh, students of Pakmodrupa. For the Karmakagyu teachers, we really only find about four there might be, be now be a few more paintings, but, but uh, when I was originally researching this, there was only about four paintings that represented um, uh, Karma Kagyu, uh, Kam Tsangpa, uh, teachers. So it wasn't so popular with the Karma Kagyu, it was more popular with the Pakdru Kagyu traditions uh, coming down from uh, Dorji Gyalpo as explained by Gampopa Sonam Rinchen and as written down by Dorji Gyalpo. We really do not see a lot of, uh, of uh, footprint paintings in other traditions until the Gelug and Nyingma traditions of the 17th century with the 5th Dalai Lama and Terdak Lingpa. So it really appears to be a, a, a Kagyu uh, tradition. So we talked about the deities uh, or the idealized figures shakyamuni vishnu shiva and now we're and and that is generally represented in stone we don't have paintings we don't have uh, murals uh, we don't have um, uh, generally we don't have uh, 
you can find some metalwork uh, representations, but they don't, they're only representative of the feet. They're not actually meant to be uh, um, proportional anyway. Um, they're, they're generally small and meant to be on a shrine, and those are for Vishnu and Shiva. We can find some small metalwork representations of two, the soles of two feet. Um, we don't really have this in the Himalayan regions with the Buddha uh, or or with uh, teachers. The teachers generally are always uh, uh, paintings, paintings on cloth, as stipulated by Gampopa. And and the the Indian uh, images of the soles of Shakyamuni Buddha's feet are generally from stone carvings that are placed at certain uh, temples around India or the Himalayas. And then represents, representations are made by uh, having a, a, a piece of a white cloth or, or paper and you do a rubbing of the stone and then you get a representation to take away uh, as a sacred uh, uh, pilgrimage kind of object. So this is just an introduction to uh, handprints and, uh, and footprints, and we've really only talked about the footprints, so we will do another video on this topic. Uh, you can press the like button, you can uh, subscribe, uh, you can also help support the work we do by joining Har on Patreon.